What's up guys, we're back. I was at the Home Depot and it looks like Durling has a big shipment of Edinger avocados and it looks like there's probably about 40 to 50 at two different um, Home Depots that I went to. So the question is, should you get uh, Edinger? And you know, it was about this time last year that I planted my Edinger. So let me show you what my Edinger looks like today. So here's some video footage. This was like October of 2021 when I planted my Edinger and then I realized that I planted it in the wrong spot and I actually had to move it. So um, yeah, so when I originally planted it, I didn't know that there was a PVC pipe underneath where it was at. And then uh, I noticed that there was a leak and uh, that was when I kind of decided to dig it up and move it out. So and uh, as of right now it's uh, October of 2022 and this is what my Edinger looks like today so I'm backing up so you can see it uh, a little bit of a glare let me see if I could go over here so you can actually see it so there it is that's what it looks like this is October of 2022 and I have one fruit hanging on still. This is it right here. Let me get in here so you can see it. And it's a it's a really good sized fruit. Um, so the fruit are supposed to be eight to 16 ounces. So um, it can get up to a pound. This looks like probably about 10 ounces already, which is pretty good. Um, so, you know, I, uh, I sprayed this around, but honestly, I think that it was pretty tough. I probably didn't even need to spray this around, and it would have probably been just fine. But it was good to just do it anyways, just because I had it, and it doesn't really hurt it to have a little bit of that on there. So, so this thing is actually growing really well. There's a, you know, a new growth that kind of came out here and really has taken off. Um, you can see it, this is uh, getting up there. And here's my uh, five foot mark. So relative to where the five foot mark is, it's actually growing really nicely. So uh, as you know, it's a Mexican type and it's a B type. And I have it right here next to my Hass, which is right there. So the Hass is a, Edinger's a, B and I have it here because it's going to help pollinate and I think this Edinger is supposed to be um, flavor wise very good so it's better than the Zutano but it's probably more closely related to Zutano um, because they're both Mexican and the seed size is supposed to be pretty big so I'm curious to see what this looks like once I uh, cut this guy open to see what it looks like on the inside but the, it's like smooth skin, thin skin. Um, it also stays green when it ripens. So something to keep in mind if you are looking to get one. Now, if you have an A type already and you're looking to add another B type, I definitely would say that, you know, it's not a bad choice to have a, a Edinger. Um, there might be better options, but if this is what you can get, and if you got the space for it, I think it's a good avocado to add into anybody's uh, backyard. So, so I'm out here checking out my forte, and I noticed something. Look at this. That's so cool looking. It's like it's just growing right there. So, kind of next to the trunk, which is over there. So we're gonna leave it be, I guess. So I'm at Parkview. They got an Era Viper, $49.99, bunch of them. So they kind of like did that. They marked it out in black, but on the side it's written Era Viper. 
So this is Parkview off of uh, Jackson in Riverside. So, and they're actually decent size. It's like a five gallon. Hopefully you guys are doing good. Hopefully you guys are staying hydrated. And as always, we'll talk later. See ya.